We talked earlier about the gait cycle and the functions of the foot during walking. But what I want to talk about now is how walking in high heels can affect the foot position, the body posture and the walking cycle and how this can lead to some common aches and pains. The high heel shoe is commonly worn by women and many women will have experienced some of the problems it can cause, but what is it actually doing to the foot? As you can see, the high heel shoe is designed to hold the heel above the toes, effectively meaning you're standing on a permanent downhill slant. It is also common for the toe box area to be narrow and often pointed, which can squash the front part of the foot and the toes. And the heel area is often very small too. Now if we look at our model in high heel shoes, you can see immediately how the position of the foot is dramatically changed. The foot is now held in a downward pointing position. This is what we call a plantar flex position and the only parts touching the ground are the ball of foot and the small heel area as the arch is held away from the shoe. In this position, the plantar fascia, the ligament which runs from the heel to the ball of foot is stretched and may lead to stresses in this area. Because the body is tilting forwards, most of the pressure is now under the ball of foot. In fact, as much as 90% of the body weight may now be sitting over the metatarsal heads in the ball of foot. Here we can see also the Achilles tendon and the calf muscles are not fully stretched when standing as they can shorten with regular high heel wear. You can see also that the ankle is quite unstable in this position. If we look up the body, we can see how it's compensating for the effects of high heels as the posture has changed. We can see the spine curves, the bottom pushes out, and the chest thrusts forward. These changes stop our foot model from falling over when high heels are worn, but does mean that the pressure now sits over the balls of the feet. So high heels have quite an impact on the position of the foot and the body, and they can also affect the gait cycle. The gait cycle has two phases. The stance phase, when the foot is on the ground, and the swing phase, when the foot is in the air. The stance phase can be split into three more phases. Contact phase, when the heel strikes the ground. Mid stance, when the foot becomes flat on the ground and the propulsive phase when the foot pushes forward to leave the ground. But when wearing high heels, the foot does not have the ability to move into the different positions required to be able to absorb shock, act as a stable platform, and push forward. At heel strike phase, the foot should be acting as a shock absorber, but it is not able to do this effectively in this position, and this can send a shock wave through the body. At mid stance, the foot should act as a stable platform, spreading the load across the surface of the foot. In high heels, the area of the foot contact is much smaller. The ankle is also quite unstable in this position. In the toe off phase, the shape of the shoe can restrict foot movement and so affect propulsion. This whole cycle can be shorter as more regular steps are needed to prevent falling due to instability. This means that the foot hits the ground more often.